Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart, and we are here with Throw It Together Thursday number 12. So today we are taking our last four techniques and we are throwing them together to make some holiday cards. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Hello, fun crafty people. So we are going to be doing our Throw It Together Thursday today on basket weaving or paper weaving. We are going to be doing it on the re-anchor on the photo mats. We have the texture paste and we also have stays on ink. So we are going to start off today. You're probably wondering why I have all this shimmer trim here. So we're going to start today by doing the weaving and I'm going to just show it to you actually under one of the snowflakes. So just wanted to show you. So when you do this, this is our piece from the other day when we did the, um, the ray anchors on the photo mats. I just want to make sure that I get my very outside of my snowflake. So I make sure that is everything is covered in between. You can see my little markings on here. And how I'm going to start with the shimmer trim, this might be a little bit more difficult than we're hoping it's going to be, but we're going to figure it out. So shimmer trim is self-adhesive. I'm just going to start myself off like that. And basically I'm making a three by three box. So I cut six strips for each side here. So I'm going to start like that. And then I'm going to start with this one on top. And then I'm going to pull it out a little bit further because that's going to be my first basket. So what we're doing is we're actually going to do a very close weave today. So it's going to give a texture, a textured look that's actually going to enhance your design under your card. Would you like to pass me some of those? Sure, here you go. You can do them in the screen too so people can see what you're doing. All right. I'll move over a little bit. Wait, you don't have to move over. The only thing I'm, I'm doing here is I put some washi tape on here and then it's just going to pull right up there. And I'm going to leave those for you. Woohoo! So you might be thinking that this is absolutely horrible what I'm doing. It's actually pretty easy. If you wanted to leave the backing on the shimmer trim, you can do that. And that way, then you can just glue it down with glue dots like we did last time. But I'm kind of liking that it is self-adhesive because it's easier for me. <laughs> So can you see that basket weave? See how cool that looks? But it gives that awesome texture underneath that snowflake. So do you see that? So if you really want to, you could do it to both of them. So while working with this a little bit more, what I did this time is I actually did one strip and then all six and then started weaving under from that. And it's going to be a lot easier because you're not going to have all of these in your way while you're doing it. So then next, what we did is we took our, the gloss that we had for um, the texture paste. This is the transparent gloss. So you can see how that's, we, this is what we did the other day. So I'm going to stick with also using our shimmer trim today because it seems like a popular thing. And if you have something like this that you know you've cut and you didn't make actually the square of the whole entire card, shimmer trim or washi tape is the best thing ever to just make a card nice and clean. So we're just gonna throw some shimmer trim along the edge here. I missed on that one edge. So I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. Remember, don't be afraid to trim it. That's why we have nonstick scissors. Right? Oh yeah, best thing ever. Just showing you, you could do something cute like that. And then we can also take our beautiful snowflakes that we made and throw it on top there. So I'm just gonna glue this on with a glue dot quickly right on top of the shimmer trim there. We're going to make it a holiday card. I do have the Oh What Fun Thin Cuts, however, which I know it has Santa and things like that. 
but I'm going to use the Tis the Season stamp for this. So we're going to grab a block here. The one by three and a half. Yes. I'm gonna grab this Tis the Season. And to even make this more interesting, we can put it on vellum. So I've cut my piece of vellum, which is going to stick right under here. And, oh, I wonder what a snowflake would look like underneath the vellum. That actually Ooh, looks really cool. That looks very cute. So what we'll do, do you want to put all three of them under it? Oh, maybe, sure. Let's see. Try them out. Let's see how that works. Just to give it some dimension of falling. Now this is actually the these are the the film. Yes. So with vellum, you don't if you have um, a vellum runner, that's good too, but it's also good to use any of these dots under your vellum. Just because you don't want to use a regular glue runner um, because it will sometimes show through the vellum, which then isn't pretty and yada yada yada. And with the glue dots, if it does happen to show through the vellum, you can always put an Small embellishment mm -hmm. on it, top of that glue. Correct. So. And the way I'm gonna do these, because I have to glue the vellum down, is I'm actually going to take some of these little glue dots, and I'm just gonna put them actually right on top of my snowflakes, so you can't even see them. And that way it avoids the hole. This one I'm gonna put right in the middle because it's gonna look, give it some dimension, right? And this one just is gonna be hidden. And I gave myself a little bit of room with the vellum to work with. See? And then flip this over. We actually printed on the inside of this card. So you can always do that. You can always throw them through a printer. So our card is now going like this. <laughs> Good thing I opened that. And once again, I'm just going to throw another little glue dot in this corner over here. Just to make sure that the lump stays down. Perfect. And now we're going to use our stays on ink. So flip that over. I have black and brown, but we're going to use the black. Remember, always keep this on it too. And we do have stays on cleaner as well. So that'll... Smells pepperminty every time. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. And I'm gonna go right over this bottom snowflake. Remember, I flipped over my Versa mat. And then you have the Tis the Season. That looks so awesome. That is so cute. And then you've got, I only glued down the middle of this so the, the snowflake could actually have a little bit of a dimension. But that's that. So for our last card, we are going to be playing with this one that we had done, the double overlay on. And I think it'll actually look really cool if we wow. double on top of it. Mm -hmm. So it gives it some dimension. Once again, we're just gonna use the glue dots on the middle of the snowflake to pop it a little bit. Ooh, got stuck to my finger. <laughs> but remember, snowflakes are all over the place, so. Do we want that or do we want one of the bigger ones? I kinda like that. Well, I like that too. Ooh. We're gonna get fun, fancy. Yes. Fun and fancy. Yes. So remember, play around, have fun. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's what we always say, right? And there you go. And you could always add, you know, some more shimmer trim to it as well, and then put your saying on top. So as our last thing, I also just wanted to show you the stays on on the photo paper. So we've got the black, the tis the season. And just to show you that it could be a little subtle thing in the corner. And that's Throw It Together Thursday. We hope you had fun making those cards and we we'll see you next Tuesday. That's right. Bye. <laughs>
Ooh, Ooh. there goes a block. <laughs> And that's it. That's our technique there. Thursday. Get the third. Thursday. <laughs> we'll use our techniques to make yourself a bunch of coins. Oh, my arm hurts. And, and that was. <laughs> and that's technique Thursday. We <laughs>